Assalamu to all learning fellows. Today we are going to discuss about differential geometry and uh, it's a branch of mathematics in which we deal the study of geometric figures. Uh, geometric figures by using method of calculus. So in brief we can say that differential geometry is the combination of geometry plus calculus. So the major discussion in differential geometry is about curves in space. Let's say any curve in three dimension. So that type of discussion we can do in DG. We can discuss about surfaces as well as curves on surfaces. Uh, there are two branches of differential geometry. First one is local differential geometry and global differential geometry. In local differential geometry, we study properties of curves, uh, properties of curves and surface in the neighborhood. There is some neighborhood of a point where we discuss the properties of curves as well as surfaces. But in global differential geometry, we again study the properties of curves and surfaces but as a whole. So the major difference is in uh, neighborhood of a point and as a whole we can discuss in global differential geometry. So now we discuss about the local properties and global properties. Local properties of curves and surfaces is in the neighborhood of a particular point. So there is a particular point in their neighborhood we discuss the properties of curves and surfaces. But in global uh, properties of curves and surfaces we discuss the entire figure, geometric figure. So entire geometric figure is related to global properties. Just we can say as an example derivatives tangent line to a curve or a curvature of a curve at some point are called local properties. And uh, here is a figure of a, a Moebius strip which is the main example of global properties. So one-sidedness of a figure like a Moebius strip is an example of one-sided surface. What do you know about curve? If you have to ask to give an example of a curve, you might have a straight line just like this or uh, you have a circle or you have a parabola. So these all are the curves in a plane. So how we can define the curve? It is basically locus. Locus is you can say that path. Path of point whose Cartesian coordinates are the function of single parameter t. If any function which depends upon a single parameter t then the locus of those point in Cartesian coordinate are called curve. Now we will discuss about uh, curves in a plane. And curves in xy plane are described by means of equation. That is the equation, major equation in Cartesian plane just like this x and uh, y so that type of curves are called curve in a plane you can say that that is the curve which is in xy plane so in set form we can write the curves as uh, order pair form xy belongs to r square such that fxy is equal to c here c is a curve that C is got a curve and if we want to discuss curve in space first we need a three-dimensional figure so uh, if we want to discuss a uh, curve in space we described by a pair of equations first equation is that one f1 xyz is equal to c1 that is curve 1 and that is curve 2. When we can 
uh, find the curve through these function we can say that a curve in space is the intersection of two spaces for example uh, we can take the intersection of uh, curves spaces from these pair of equation uh, we can get a curve if we can say that the uh, first curve is just like here and second one is just like this then after the intersection we get a curve that one so this is called curve in space and uh, next is the vector representation of a curve for that we can say that let r be the position vector of point p on the space curve whose cartesian coordinate are x y z so that is the three dimensional position vector and that is the uh, dependence of parameter t so parametric representation of a curve is uh, uh, related to x such that x is the function of t y also function of t z also function of t where these are real valued function of a single variable t t is belongs to close interval a b now the important topic related to curve is q curve any curve which is not a plane curve that is called skew curve or the second name of this curve is twisted curve so uh, we can say that a curve in space may be skew curve and may not be skew curve so it's not a surety that uh, uh, in space we have a curve that is called skew curve might be possible there is a curve of uh, skew curve and might be there not a skew curve so regular curve we can uh, discuss here a curve where t belongs to some interval i is called regular curve if r of t is of class 1 in i and uh, the derivative of Uh, position vector or that curve with respect to t is non zero for all t belongs to i and that i is uh, any interval from minus infinity to infinity for example we can discuss here two examples first one is related to that first one is called regular because if we can take the derivative and put here any point from this interval we can see that there is a non zero relation so that is called regular curve but uh, there is an example associated with non regular curve if we take derivative of this then it will become zero for t is equal to zero when here put t is equal to zero t is equal to zero then the whole derivative will zero so when that condition will falls then we can say that this is not a regular curve next one is a simple curve any regular curve where t belongs to i is said to be simple curve if there are no multiple points if we can say different points t1 and t2 this implies there are two different curves r t1 and r t2 they must be different if they will be same then we can say that that is not a simple curve that regular curve is not a simple curve for example here is a curve is not simple because when we take one is not equal to minus one but here uh, the curve will get the answer zero so these are different points but here the answer will be same so that is not a simple curve after that we can discuss about regular arc a regular arc r of t where t belongs to interval said to be regular arc if i is closed interval above cases i is not restricted to closed but here that i is a from closed interval ab so remember that point after that we just need a parameter parameterized curves in rn rn is a Uh, space is n tuples here r n is a n tuple there is a mapping gamma 
from alpha beta open interval to r and for some alpha beta so that alpha is equal to minus infinity and that beta is equal to infinity or in between these points what will be the parameterization of a curve a parameterized curve whose image is contained in a level curve c is called parameterization of a curve for example we can discuss an example let's see that is a parabola y is equal to x square and its parameterization is from minus infinity to infinity to r square given that this is an order pair and uh, if uh, gamma 1 and gamma 2 must satisfy the equation of parabola we can put here gamma 2 of t is equal to gamma 1 of t square and if we take gamma 1 of t is equal to t then gamma 2 of t is equal to square so the required parameterization is defined by this function and remember that there is a special note that parameterization is not unique parameterization is not a unique you can see infinitely many other parameterization curves for example this is also a parameterization of curve this is also a parameterization of a curve so it's uh, not a uh, unique now we discuss about uh, another example of a uh, parameterization of a curve here is a uh, unit circle and uh, whose uh, mapping is just like that order pair form but gamma 1 of t must satisfy equation of circle so what we can do we can do that uh, x is equal to gamma 1 of t y is equal to gamma 2 of t is equal to 1 so we can take here t and uh, if we take this t then after arranging we can see that that is 1 minus t square square root so that is with plus and minus if we can take only plus then it is with upper half of a circle and if we take minus then it will be the lower half of a circle and if we want to complete circle so the parameterization of whole circle is a cos of t sin of t and uh, at the last we can see that how to find cartesian equation from given parameterized zik equation uh, we can, we are interested to find cartesian equation consider the parameterization curves called asteroid that is asteroid what we can do we do just x is equal to cos cube t and sin cube t is equal to y and uh, if we find here cos of t and sin of t then we can observe that their square is equal to 1 and uh, if we put values of sin and cos we can see that that is the Cartesian form that is the Cartesian form of parameterization curve so here are some questions which are related to you you can do these questions uh, from yourself uh, gamma function t is a parameterization of the parabola y is equal to x here is it parabola or not you have to check that and uh, next one is related to parameterization of the following level curve these are the level curves you have to find the parameterization of these and uh, what are the cartesian equation of these two order pair form functions so that is up to you do yourself thank you so much and keep watching youtube channel for more videos thank you so much